Hello, my name is Antoinette Hardy. I am going to do a presentation titled Tracing Evolution. The study of evolution dates back to ancient Greece. Mankind has always pursued explanation and purpose for existence. The creation of the heavens and earth, nature, animals, and human beings. Why do we exist? What is our purpose? The purpose of this presentation is to trace mankind's thoughts on evolution and explore its impacts on the formation of thoughts and beliefs that prevail in society today. Mankind tends to look for logical and believable explanations outside of faith alternatives. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It is not enough for mankind to just believe that God did it all. Mankind needs physical evidence, something that can be touched, felt, and seen. The evolutionary theory states that both the earth and living organisms change in some systematic ways over time. Anaximander believed a mixture of water and earth produced fish that carried the first human infants until they reached puberty. The fish burst and the humans were developed enough to survive. This explanation reminds me of the story of Jonah, swallowed by a whale and spit out on sand three days later. Empedocles offered a primitive form of natural selection, claiming that animals and humans formed part by part. Most random pairings resulted in creatures incapable of surviving. Some chance unions produced viable creatures that survived, including humans. Friedrich Nisesh didn't create a theory on evolution. Rather, he talked about how philosophers and scientists of his day killed the existence of God. According to Nietzsche, we no longer have standards of morality, purpose, or even significance. He was called a madman but he really seemed to be aware of the trajectory of society. He did not voice solutions to the problems. Therefore, I suspect many people did not listen to his rant and rave. He reminds me of a, of a voice crying out in the wilderness, John the Baptist from biblical times. Christine Ladd used the theory of evolution to explain colorblindness. Achromatic vision came first, then blue, yellow, then red, green. Red, green being the newest colorblindness to evolve is the most vulnerable and common kind of colorblindness. In the years after 1870, two theories vied for primacy, the trichromatic theory and the four color theory, also known as an opponent theory of color vision. Carl Stump expressed interest in acoustical perception, emotional and perceptional psychology, scientific theory, research methodology, and the theory of evolution. Stump 
spent a lot of time expressing the importance of experimental psychology to the scholar community. Herbert Spencer applied the theory of evolution to everything. Spencer said that human and non-human systems start off simple and through evolution become increasingly complex over time. Herbert Spencer indicated that behaviors not conducive to survival will, behaviors conducive to survival will continue and behaviors not conducive to survival will end. Offspring retain the behaviors conducive to survival. Spencer said that only the fittest survive. In the 1880s, Herbert Spencer's ideas were taught in American universities. Andrew Carnegie went even further saying that for him, the evolutionary theory, also known as social Darwinism, replaced traditional religion. Charles Darwin documented and reported evidence in a way that made the validity of the evolutionary theory hard to ignore. When Darwin published his book on the origin of species by means of natural selection, the theory of evolution became popular. He sold many books and many public evolution debates occurred. According to Charles Darwin, individual differences occur in offspring. Environmental change, also known as natural selection, requires adaptation and causes offspring to live and die. The enduring ones will pass strong adaptive characteristics to their offspring. Darwin also borrowed survival of the fitness, survival of the fittest from Herbert Spencer, which describes this survival process. According, according to Darwin, evolution results from the natural selection of those accidental variations among members of a species that prove to have survival value. Richard Dawkins argued that natural selection takes place at the genetic level rather than the species or individual level. Dawkins indicates that ideas and concepts affect the progress of human evolution. Dawkins also fights to advance secularism and atheism and opposes religion. Stephen J. Gould discovered the theory of punctuated equilibrium, which proposes that evolution Evolution of species is not a slow, gradual process of change, but in fact consists of long periods of stability broken by shorter periods of rapid change. He campaigned against creationism and proposed that science and religion be separate. Francisco Ayala explained how Darwinism and religious faiths are compatible and revealed that the pace of evolution was dependent on the amount of genetic variation in a population. Ayala defended the teaching of evolution in public schools and served as an expert witness 
in the overturning of a state law that required the teaching of creationism alongside evolution in science classes. In conclusion, we have traced some of mankind's thoughts on evolution and explored its impacts in the formation of thoughts and beliefs that, pre that prevail in society today. In general, mankind tends to look for logical and believable explanations outside of faith alternatives. Mankind tends to believe the unbelievable man-made explanations before considering the idea that God created man in his own image. Mankind does not like the idea of being held accountable to a higher power for what we have done in this life on earth. Many people have found that the only way to make logical sense of how something has developed is to apply evolution in some manner, whether it be slow, fast, through natural selection, over a long or short period of time, whether it depends on the amount of genetic variation in a population, or long periods of stability broken by shorter periods of rapid change. This is the work site page. Thank you very much.